Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 in my every node in Go series. Today we're gonna have a look at the node label. But first let's create the main scene. So click on 2D scene, rename this guy to main, go to scene, save scene, click on create folder, type in scenes and click on save here. Next right click the main node and click on add child node and find the label. Click on this guy and click on create. If you go to the text box here and type in something, I am a label. And then we can zoom in a bit here. And you can see we have the label right here. In small text, I am a label. But next we want to change this text to actually use a TTF font. So what you can do is, is to go here to 1001freefonts.com and I'm going to download the Nova Square font here. I'm going to minimize here and we're going to go here to our rest folder. I right click and click on new folder and type in assets. Then right click the assets folder, click a new folder and type in fonts. I'm going to right click this guy and open in file manager. And I'm going to drag in the Nova Square font in here, like so. So let's close this guys down. So if we click here on label, go down here to theme overrides, click on fonts, click on empty here and click on new dynamic font. Then click here again and click on font, then click on font data and click on new dynamic font data. Then click here again, then click here on font path, go to assets, fonts, and choose the Nova Square font and click on open. And next we can go here to settings. And we can now set the size to be something like 25. And if you now go up here and type some text, I am label. We will now get the text here much bigger. So what you can do as well. So you can set an outline size here of one and set the outline color to be black or some other color, but let's go with black. I'm going to go with three in size and we can put this guy to something like 50 instead. And if I click on use filter here, it's going to become softer. So if you zoom in a bit here, you can see the difference. This is without filter. This is with filter. You can go and add extra spacing as well here between the characters. You can even have negative spacing if you think the space is too wide between the characters. But I'm going to go with the default and the spaces. You can change the size of as well. All right. And also the top and the bottom. All right. So let's go with this guy. So next, let's access the label from a script here. So right click the main, click on attach script, make sure it's a C-sharp script, and let's save it as it is right now. Click on create. And in here, we can type in private label, my label, like so. And now we're gonna grab the label from the scene, which is very simple. We have the main node that we are standing on right now, and we're gonna grab the label. So all we have to do is just type in my label equals get node. It's going to be a label and it's going to be right here as label. Like so. And what we can do now in code to set the label text, you type in my label dot text equals I am a label and I'm happy. So if we minimize Right now it says I'm a label, so we can click on play here. I'm going to select the main scene as the current one. And when we run, it says I'm a label and I'm happy. All right. So this is how we use labels in the go.engine. It's very simple. You can do more stuff with them, but this is how you can set your own font on them as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe hit the notification bell and see you in the next video.
Bye for now.